Posing to me is performing. That's the time that you get to show who you are, your personality, your confidence, how much your passion for what you do. It needs to come from within and what makes somebody's posing really good and to where somebody's watching you and can't take their eyes off of you is that light that you have within, that confidence, that power. Past few weeks I've been prepping for the Bikini Olympia and I cannot believe that it's just two weeks away. The time just flew by. I don't think I can put into words how much this show means to me. Um, it's For five years I've tried to get this title and I have not been successful. All that's done is made me want it more. I'm not picky with my food at all. I don't care, it's just fuel, so I don't try to make it pretty or anything like that. I try to spend the least amount of time as possible <laughs> on food, because I got other stuff to do. <laughs> this year's also different because it's the first year that I, I'm doing everything 100% on my own. Um, I don't have a coach, I don't have a trainer, I don't have somebody to tell me what to do. And so far, so good. I've, I've, uh, I've won three shows. I won the New York Pro, the Pittsburgh Pro, and the Miami Muscle Beach Pro. So I'm very excited about that. I've been eating a lot recently because I've been trying to just keep my weight up. I can't lose any more weight. And um, this is just breakfast. I have, after this, I have five ounces of steak and a cup of rice. And then I have five ounces of chicken and a cup of rice. So it, it's a lot. I know, like I said, you know, most bikini competitors are eating three to four ounces of protein and two to three ounces of, of carbs. I take Isoburn, just my favorite protein by BSN. It tastes so good and I like to make it into like my own little treat and ice cream. And I, what I do is I just put a scoop in, I add cinnamon and uh, I mix it up with water and I stick it in the freezer. And in a couple of hours, Jim Jim, it's like ice cream. So it's it's important to do the little things when it comes to prep and when you're dieting. I now have three dogs and a Sphinx cat. It's a lot because they're not just normal dogs. Gunner, he he's very needy. I love him. He's my angel. Raja is my Sphinx kitten and she is just a maniac. She's all over the place. She's actually calm today, surprisingly. Muffin, uh, she has issues with her eyes. She doesn't produce tears. And so I have to give her medication three times a day. The little one, Kingsley, is my teacup chihuahua, and, and he has really bad arthritis, um, and he has to take pay, pain meds all the time, and he wears a diaper, so I'm changing diapers all day. I weight train about five times a week. You know, the closer you get to an important show like the Olympia, the less distractions you want. Uh, I live pretty close to one of my fellow BSN athletes, Flex Lewis, in his gym, and so he let me train here today, and it's awesome because there's nobody here. So it's 100% focus on what I need to do, and um, it makes a difference. Today, I'm training shoulders and arms. Um, I threw in a little back with the battle ropes. The battle ropes, I don't do them all of the time, but I do like to change it up here and there. It's, it's a form of, it, it, it's great for your back. I like it for cardio. I like to do intervals um, with them. They tire you out. And it, it's a change from the treadmill or outside or the stepper and stuff like that. Um, you're getting, you know, your, your back. I mean, it's a workout for your back. But like I said, you also get good cardio from it. It's about pushing yourself in the gym. It's about pushing yourself to get up and go to the gym. It's about pushing yourself through life, things that happen, things that are thrown at you, and getting over them and, and overcoming the things that you want to so that you're able to move forward and accomplish your goal. No matter what is thrown at me, no matter what I need to do, I am going to push as much as I have to. There are no limits. You create limits. And I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to make my goals happen. I want 
the Bikini Olympia title so bad. <laughs> it means so much to me. I, you know, it means the world to me. I, I want it. I want it freaking bad. And I've, I've busted my ass these past five years. I've busted my ass every single prep for every single show, for every single Olympia. And um, five years later, I'm still going super hard and, uh, you know, I get another shot. So hopefully it works out. You know what, I'm glad I didn't get him the past five years. I'm glad I didn't get that title because if I would have, I wouldn't have learned as much about myself and as much about everything else as I did. So I believe in perfect timing. I've put in a lot of work mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Um, I've given my heart and soul to the sport, to my training, and um, God willing, this will be the year.